I've had the really great privilege of spending so many of years of my working life working alongside some really fantastic African women. I can't speak for them and I wouldn't dream of speaking for them, but I do want to bring them into this space tonight in the way that I know them, as women who are experts, who are innovative, who are strong and determined, and who are true leaders. So I want to tell you the story of just one of the many thousands of women that we're celebrating this evening. Patience is a retired nurse living in Tanzania. She's raising five grandchildren. After losing three of her five adult children to AIDS, she made the five hour walk to the nearest clinic, taking with her her grandchildren, and they all got tested. Only one child tested positive, but then so did patients. The result was an incredible depression that hit her, and the sting of the stigma of HIV AIDS kept patients at home for months. Her grandchildren stayed at home from school, worried sick about the only adult left in their lives. Maybe it was seeing her grandchildren so frightened. Maybe it was her love for them. Or maybe it was the knowledge that her three dead children had entrusted her with the well-being of their children. Or maybe it was just what used to be drummed into me as a child by my mother and grandmother and everyone else that African women just do not give up. Whatever the motivation, whatever the motivation, Patience found the strength to pull herself out of that depression and tackle the multiple calamities that AIDS had left at her front door. Today, Patience is a home-based care worker with a project called Umatu. Every day she gets up at five o'clock she gets the children ready for school, she cooks some kind of a modest breakfast, and heads out on a bicycle to care for 20 other families that have been stricken by AIDS. Those families are in different stages of suffering and loss, and for many, it's the nutrition, the healing, the counseling, and the support that patients in Umatu bring that's helped them begin to live positively with HIV rather than dying from AIDS. Yet even as we celebrate patients and women like her, we have to ask why her expertise is so marginalized in decision-making circles, why her voice is not heard in the corridors of power where the policies around HIV AIDS are designed. That kind of short-sightedness has really accelerated the ravages of AIDS in Africa and along the fault lines of gender inequality. Women's bodies have become the ground zero of the pandemic. The violence they absorb, the love and nurture they give, the children they nurse, the children they bury, and the grandchildren they raise. With pain and with strength, African women repair the fabric of their lives and the lives of those around them. And it's this expertise that the Stephen Lewis Foundation listens to and treats with respect. In nine years, the SLF has invested over $60 million, working with more than 300 organizations in 15 countries in sub-Saharan Africa. It's an amazing job that they've done. And we can see the profound difference that they've made in the quality of life in so many communities. And yet so much more still needs to be done. At an African grandmother's gathering in Swaziland in 2010, which was hosted by the SLF and a local organization called SWAPO, we heard the powerful voices of African women. Let me end with their words. They said, in 2006, we were battered by grief, devastated by the deaths of our beloved sons and daughters, and deeply concerned for the futures of our grandchildren. We stand here today, battered, but not broken. We are the backbones of our communities. We form the core of community-based care. 
With our love and commitment, we protect and nurture our orphan grandchildren. Africa cannot survive without us. We are strong, we are visionary, we have faith, and we are not alone. Together, we will turn the tide of AIDS. So tonight, I want to ask all of you to show that those grandmothers really are not alone. I ask you to stand in solidarity with the women of Africa, with the Stephen Lewis Foundation, and with women and men of true commitment the world over. I ask you to stand in solidarity to turn the tide of AIDS and to keep hope rising. Thank you.